Good evening and welcome to the workshop. In today's video, we're gonna be hopefully finishing the crank axle for the Maid of Kent. Unfortunately, I think this belt really has had it. Because look. That's just spinning in the belt. Look, I don't mind doing this, but if I wanted to do this much sawing, I would have started a wood workshop. Now I've got to do that a couple more times. That's not bad, I mean for seven eighths, is it? Well, here's all the pieces required for the crank axle. I do also have the eccentric sheave for the axle pump, which was the very first thing I machined for the Maid of Kent in the very first episode. The problem I have, of course, is that when I machined this eccentric sheave, I didn't have the correct size reamer, so I just drilled it under size. So this doesn't actually fit on the central stub axle. Happily, it now fits totally fine. Of course, it's not pinned or Loctited together yet. I'm pretty pleased with that. I did want to press fit these, but I guess the reamer must have cut slightly oversized. Maybe I ran it too fast or something. So they're, they're a great fit, but they're not a push fit. And that's what I was after. So I'm going to be using some of this. This is Loctite 648. It's a, uh, a high strength retainer designed specifically for cylindri cylindrical uh, parts that are going to be joined together. Now, before that adhesive sets up, my idea is to hold the axles like so. It looks like I can, can turn it here and the, the axle box is okay with, uh, with just a pinch grip here. I mean, there's definitely a tight spot, um, but, it, but it does go round. I wonder if it will wear in well, there you go, there it is between centres, and it doesn't look as bad as it did when it was running in the lathe chuck jaws. But yeah, I, I think this might be scrap. I mean, if you look how much the middle of that is oscillating. Well, that's very, very disheartening. <laughs> 